<laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, got a couple here. Couple. Why are you reacting to an entire genre that you clearly hate oh, that. and laugh at every single bar from every single artist? <laughs> I know, it's so not well, true. Well, like, A, it's just not it's, it's not true. There, if you go through the catalog, you will see there are some songs we really like. Yeah. Um, but also... I'm not gonna fucking take anything you say seriously, Targaryen, because your fucking profile picture is a Game of Thrones character, and your profile name is a Game of Thrones name. <laughs> you fucking loser dink. <laughs> Sit on a knife. Fuck you. <laughs> This is Metalheads reacting to hip hop. Hip -hop. So get with the fucking program, piece of shit. Deep. <laughs> Fuck face. <laughs> fucking idiot. I hate that fucking show. They ruined it. I know you liked it, but I, I liked just, it at the beginning. It, it was so satisfying to um to see everyone. Get so angry yeah, when that know, dumb show it. had a dumb ending. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you were secretly. I watched the it. first season, and I was like, "All right, they cool. They killed the one cool character. I don't fucking care oh, anymore." Ned? No, <laughs> the fuck, Cal Drogo. Okay, oh, the right. only cool person in the whole fucking show. Well, that was in the book too. They killed him, but I don't fucking care. Everyone does. It's not. Don't trick yourself into thinking it's creative storytelling to kill the main characters. It's not. It's fucking lazy. All right, so Tom McDonald, Tommy McDonald, dear rappers, this one's for the nymph of Tartarus. Oh yeah, one she's of our favorites. With, she's been with us for a while. One of the OGs. Since we started this fucking dumb thing to do with our time. <laughs> oh, we have fun. <laughs> but we I have fun. Us. We have fun. <laughs> <laughs> the blind swordsman strikes you king. Oh, the best. Did you Zato see? Each. Did you see the horror movie? Because Joe's talking about it, and we wanted to see it. Where it's Japanese. I think so, and it's about ballet. Oh, not Suspiria. No. Well, that has ballet in it. I didn't like the remake, but... No, I didn't see the remake, because I don't really ballet. care to. Oh! Oh! No. The... What's it called? Audition? Not that Yeah! One. Oh, shit, dude. Is that, like, really fucked up? It's pretty fucked up. Okay, I gotta see that. <laughs> it's really good. Do you have that? I don't have it, but... Oh, okay, it's yeah. It's pretty kind of traumatized even at first, though. Because Jill saw it, like, a long time ago, and she can't remember much of it except, like, the, the ballet foot? aspect of it. I don't know. With the piano wire, it's awesome. Yeah, take the foot. Oh, I won't tell you. You gotta see. It. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty out one. there though. Yeah, we're we've been wanting to get into. And there's good a weird movies. dark twist to it. We've like, been wanting to get into good horror movies because all fucking new horror movies coming out look so stupid. Yeah. Like here's this doll that our family kept, and it's creepy, and it's gonna uh, move quickly and kill you, and you like, yeah. fuck off. No. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all Talk about the days when they used to be sad I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance Maybe y'all can help me out though I'm just trying to take care of my household I don't even want to make my mouth go I just want to win before the system that I'm in Gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped I spent everything I had and I never had a lot Oh my god, what a mess Your words help me is a lot more creative than the last one we just did. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Lyrically. It seems like truthful, you know, the, like sort of vulnerable in some way. The opening, uh, what sounds like a guitar, mm. it o oddly sounds like a, like a guitar riff off of one of... Sounds familiar. Off yeah. of not the latest, but the one before it. 
uh, what? the second to last Metallica album. Oh. Um, it's not the same, but they're very, very similar. Yeah, it does sound familiar. Um, it's kind of cool, the guitar. Well, it sounds like an instrument. Yeah. He's already thrown his voice to two different styles when he mm. starts addressing, when he starts the Dear Rappers, he really yeah. pulls his voice a different way. Yeah, then he gets kind of comical with like the fanboy kind of voice. like. Yeah, whatever, like, you know, like, like he, a, he brings it up a little bit. Yeah, eh. yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, but the dialogue is also somewhat legitimate. He's talking yeah, about something. Yeah, I think it's really yeah. uh, sort of tr like truthful and, and um, honest sort of lyrics. Keep it rolling. Help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean no disrespect. But I'm paying even more and you give me even less. What the fuck? You talk Paying even more and you're giving me even less. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, I, I think that so frequently. Yeah. Well, paying for a digital album and not getting like the no, actual... just in, in in so many aspects yeah. of life, the amount of things that like yeah, no, it's true. Case in point, I go to a lot of concerts. Yeah, you're yeah, paying well, great... even more for the service oh, fee. Feet, it doesn't yeah. matter if you listen to Taylor Swift or if you're going to a local black metal show. Yeah, great, it's it's say it's a fifteen dollar ticket or it's a hundred and fifteen dollar ticket. You're getting a fifteen dollar service charge sometimes know, per ticket. And you're that. not even receiving a paper or yeah. card ticket. You're just Yeah, there's no just, service. Like you're just service? getting it on your phone and they yeah, scan it when you get there. I know it's and it's just like I'm paying more and you literally I'm paying even more and you're giving me less. What the fuck? Yeah. It's cool. Very frustrating. it's a very legitimate frustration that <laughs> yeah. that Literally, you gave me three seconds, I th and I thought of one way I experienced the same thing consistently, and that's just that's just one example. Yeah, and he's it's, he's saying a lot about the current rap scene. I think. Yeah. Like, like how it's lost that sort of depth yeah. it once had. Like how it's not political anymore. Yeah. As Every, much as it was. Everything is digital. I mean, no disrespect, and I. It, and it sounded like the song opened with a guitar line. Something not yeah, your digital. Music, your music feels kind of like it's trying to write a check. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's, yeah, it's just so commercial now. There's no balls behind it. And that's kind of what happened to metal, too, in many ways. It's what's happening to everything. You got, it's getting, like, yeah. their commercial aspect of it is, like, taking yeah. over. Well, I mean, think about it from the standpoint that there isn't even... There's no impetus there's to, no write, more underground to write either. an album now. No one cares about albums no. anymore. No, it's no, just it's selling individual tracks. You're right. Yeah. Let's keep it rolling. This is pretty decent so far. It's good, yeah, it's thought provoking, I think. You taught me to think, you taught me to grow, you taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink, you teach me to smoke, you teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 yeah. just a drug addict. I can't hear another. Huh. I get what he was doing, but that was terrible. <laughs> well, yeah, he was. I don't ever to... want to hear that again. No, but, but I totally trying... get it. It's like, ir like being yeah. ironic. And he has kind of... that mild, and it was mild auto tune underneath. It wasn't like drenched in it, but he had a little bit in there to just to get you to yeah to think about associate it. With yeah like that what yeah, he's making just, fun just of just to connect of. the dots yeah no it's cool it sounded obnoxious but it was very clever yeah it's interesting <laughs> and I like what he's saying like like a you Xanax? teach me to think every woman's a hoe yeah. like that's you know what I mean They've been doing that for a long time, though. They've been doing that for 20 fucking years, though. Yeah, they've been doing it for more than 20 years. Yeah, that's true, that I actually. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more Little important peach. shit than what you're wearing, where you're living, who you fucking, what you're drinking, what you spend, and what you drive. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, yeah. can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me, cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all this shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. 
You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day, and all you wanna talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money, you've been blinded by the cars, you've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show, and now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. Man, you taught us how to rap, and you taught us how to dress, and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Your what you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Hmm. It's got solid lyrics. Yeah. Solid lyrics. Really. I would take a fancy foreign car, though. I wouldn't take the insurance on it. <laughs> yeah, I would. Try to tell me that it's our no, 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 Just a drug addict. Don't I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's our no, no, no. Drug addict on TV. Yeah. That's all right, then. It's cool. I like that sample, that guitar sample. All right. The Rubik. Rubik. But here's the thing, and we've talked about this before. Um, would you listen to it again? No. No. I probably wouldn't either. No. But I think the message well, that is that doesn't good. mean it's not yeah. legitimate. No, I know. It will affect the score a little bit. Yeah, like the but, listenability of it. Yeah. But anyway, that's... If we ever wanted to there. expand the rubric, that would be the fifth tier. Listenability. Yeah, because I think that is an interesting factor. Because yeah. you mentioned that before. It's like we were just talking about, about the about horror it. movie. We were just talking about Audition. Yeah. Really important film, really brutal, stands out in its in its genre. Yeah. You don't ever feel compelled to watch it again, but that doesn't delegitimize it. That's true. But that's more because it was like disturbed. I would watch it again. But yeah. a horror movie I would never watch again. It was irreversible. Have you ever seen that? No. French. Yeah, it just has some brutal things that like I never want to see. Like yeah. a fifteen minute rape scene that Really? Yeah, because they want to show it wants to show like what rape is really like. Like it didn't like yeah. Which I guess is good, but like it's just brutal. Yeah. So I, it's like a great horror movie, but I would never watch it again. Yeah. You're gonna have to make a list for like I'll make a list horror movies that. that fucked you up. Yeah, you want that list? Because I watched your. Um, <laughs> oh, the top horror the, scores. The scores. Mm. But I can't relate it to a film that I've seen yeah, yeah, or yeah. what the film is about. If you know, if I haven't seen it. But yeah, I'll give you a list of fucked up horror movies. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I got that. I got the list. I got the list in spades. Babe. So let's uh Lyrical Flow. Lyrical Flow, uh I think that was the lowest part of the song. Yeah, because the, we like the content, but the flow itself was sort of I think the flow needed to be more subdued to get the point yeah. across. Cause the song had weight. It had weight to it. It was heavy. It was a heavy topic. I guess. The guy is sad. And he executed saying that a lot better than uh what a triple X tentation. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm sad, I know, yeah. I'm sad, I know, oh, God, yeah. That thing. I kind of blocked that out. <laughs> but I think. You yeah, will relive the horror. Like the flow, I probably he probably has like a better flow, maybe in other songs. Like, It'd be interesting. Like, I'm wondering checking like, what, out more. Yeah, like what he can do. Yeah. Flow wise. But yeah, this was pretty. I don't imagine he's ever going to be one to like spit really fast stuff like no, that. No, no. But you don't but need to. But even just be. a little. Yeah. A little more energy. I'll give it a six. Yeah, because like you said, I think it fit what he was... Yeah. The delivery fit what he was talking about. Yeah. And it's sort of... I want you to take a moment to think like, about it. Yeah. So in that way, it was like more deliberate. I yeah. Think, the way he controlled... Would you give it a six? A six. Yes. Yeah, um, I'll say seven. That's okay. Because when you put it that way, it sort of made me think like... It was effective in that way. In relation to the song. Yeah. All right, so let's get to lyrical content. It was good. I thought it was great. Yeah. And I think, like, yeah, it was thought-provoking. It was, and it was, seemed very, like, uh, like honest. I said before, honest and truthful and, like, 
like just really yeah. sort of exposed in a way. It wasn't overly substantive, but it was it was point driven. So you you don't need to you know bust out <laughs> four syllable words and all this other yeah. clever run around stuff to get the point home. And I think it's like people who grew up like I grew up with some good rap like like Public Enemy and like Gangstar yeah. and it's like those lyrics were a lot more like interesting and sort of thought provoking. Yeah. And when you hear the shit that happens now, like like a lot of stuff we've been listening to, like a lot yeah. of it's very like like just Flat. about shit yeah. topics that like like that doesn't say anything, you know. Like if, if nothing else, it saying. was refreshing to hear a hip hop song where they weren't just fucking talking about how great they are. Yeah, and it, it's like seems, not not drugs, not women, not cars, not any of that shit. It's just it wasn't just bolstering your fucking ego for three minutes it right. was no oh, I'm gonna talk about something that's important to me here you go yeah and you got the sense like that rap once meant something to him and now it's sort of like yeah it's kind of interesting he feels he's sort of poorly to, about the way it's going yeah and he's trying to like maybe get people back on like a reconnect with it yeah uh, in a real way yeah so I think it's cool I'll give way. it an 8 yeah that's what I was thinking all right, so beat. I like the guitar. Yeah, it had um, a cool vibe to it. It was definitely subdued and a lot more. It's more like moody. Just it's like more moody. dramatic than I look for my hip hop to normally be. Um, but again, that fits the context. You mean well. you felt it was like melodramatic, sort of? You felt like? Yeah, the chorus particularly is just like, almost reminding me of that, like. Oh um, Dance with the Devil, what was it called? Is that what it was called? Yeah. Like that had that kind of dramatic sort of loop yeah. that we didn't like at first. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that song was eight fucking minutes long. Yeah, that's true. At least. Um, but yeah, like we talked about, though, the chorus of this was more like a. Kind of like a making fun of a. Yeah. Taking well, we're not jabs at like the current scene or yeah, something. Kind of like. Well, it was almost like Use a little peep chorus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which I think was intentional. There right? was that kind of... Like, I don't know when this came out, but... Like... But I felt like he was sort of taking jabs at that yeah. little peep sound, sort of. Overly dramatic. In fact, this whole beat kind of sounded like a little peep a little bit. Yeah. With that guitar. Yeah. Which I kind of... If anything, we liked that the most of the little peeps. That was the only thing I liked about little peep was there was... I think there was an acoustic guitar in one of the songs. Yeah. But anyway, so what do you think for the beat? I'll be nice. Give it a seven. Yeah, because the beat was definitely lower than the lyrical content for me. But I think it served its purpose. Yeah. Because you know how like some of the beat is more subdued when he's talking about those three factors: the beat, the flow, and the content worked synergistically together. Yeah, because I think Eminem does that too. He tones down the beat a little bit, so you focus more on the pulls it away. Yeah. Yeah. So you gave it a seven. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, production. Actually, it was I like the production. Yeah, it's what it needed to be. And I even liked that chorus, even though you didn't like it. I thought like it kind of had a cool vibe. I didn't to it. like it, but that doesn't mean it was at all bad. It was just yeah. like oh I thought my it was God. well put together. Like there's some cool yeah. harmonies happening. I mean, even it was yeah. like the the auto well. and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, it had a cool like. Um. I'm gonna give it a seven production. I'll do the same. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's seven. Seven. Yeah. Above average hip hop song. To seven. Yeah, and that's about seven right, I think, for it. for Dear Rappers by Tom McDonald. Yeah, you think we should check out more of his stuff? Yeah, I think we'll get. I'm kind of curious. Like, yeah. Actually, I may have heard the White Boy one. Have you heard that one? No. You haven't heard anything? That this was... is my first experience with Mr. McDonald. But yeah, if you guys want to recommend another uh, McDonald track, we'll check that out. Maybe something a little more up. Yeah. Um, yeah, something with a, with a stronger tempo, a little bit more of a yeah. pace to it. All right, guys. Uh, what's our heavy metal suggestion? Oh, suggestion. Heavy metal suggestion. Oh, I don't know. I've been listening to uh, 
Well, I got back. It's weird. I got back into like a diamond head. Oh dear. So lightning, li- lightning to the nation. Is that what's called? I don't, I'm not familiar. Well, they were, Metallica covered their song. Uh, yeah. In garage. Am I evil? Have you heard the original? Yeah. It's insane, dude. His voice is like way better than James. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what happened with Diamond Head? This is the sad thing: is they were mismanaged. Yeah. And the record company tried to make them into more like a commercial. Yeah. Which, if they had gone more in the metal direction, they probably would have been one of the bigger yeah. metal. Because this is like 1980, 1979. The heyday. So I, it's kind of sad, I think, that they were yeah. mismanaged. So anyway, that's my album. I think it's Lightning to the Nations, it's called, by Diamond Head. Anyway, what do you... What do I want to do? Oh, that's just what I've been listening to. I don't know. What have you been listening to? If you want to... Um, maybe you just say that. Or whatever you... I can't think of the name of the album, but um, you could look it up. Just check out a band called Mantar. M A N. Oh, Mantar. T A R. Yeah. Pretty sure they're German. I can see their logo now. Has a cool logo. Yeah, and um, it's a two-piece. Yeah. Just a guitar and drums, and they fucking beat the shit out of you. Yeah, they're awesome. And. Um, so here's the album, Ode to the Flame. Is that the one? Modern the Art, modern of, art setting of Setting a Blaze. A blaze. That's the yeah. newest one, yeah. That's the one. Cool, I want to check that out. I don't know if I heard bright. the full album. Mantar. Guys, thanks for tuning in Yeah. for this week's edition of Metalheads React to Hip Hop. Bitch! <laughs>